It's your boy, man. The hell going on out there in this motherfucker? You guys know how we do it, man. Downtown LA, man. I got to run some errands and shit. Still got shit we got to do. Even though we in this fucked up situation with this pandemic up in this bitch. Still got to get shit done, man. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I hope everything's cool out there. You know what I'm getting ready to say. You know what I'm getting ready to say. I hope you guys are staying corona free. And I hope you motherfuckers are staying sucker free. Understand that shit, man. Okay. Your boy is just doing normal shit. I got to go to the post office. I got to go to the cigar shop. I got to go to the to, to the other Nike store shit. You know, just normal shit that I do, man. Okay. But I definitely want to come in and tell you guys, man, I was not excited. Figure where the fuck am I at? Okay, yeah, all right, I'm downtown. All right. I wasn't really excited about the NBA re, uh, resuming play uh, next month. Because to me, man, no matter what, whoever wins the title, and especially the man you love to hate the most, LeBron, Brick, LeBron James, whatever that nigga name is, you guys are going to fucking have a fucking excuse anyway. No, if it's, Especially if he wins the championship, you're going to have a fucking excuse, man. That's why I really don't want him to play. Because I don't want to hear people talk shit about, well, it wasn't a full season, man. And it wasn't every team couldn't play. And, 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 and man, it wasn't for real. And, and all that stupid shit. That just shows you motherfuckers haven't lived, lived long enough. Anybody, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say this months in advance. In advance. Any of you dumbass motherfuckers, if LeBron wins or Kawhi wins or your favorite uh, a team does not win the finals with this situation that's going on with the bubble down there in Orlando, and you got the audacity and the unmitigated gall to come and say, oh, man, that's an asterisk, man. That wasn't a full season, man. And uh, uh, and so uh, that's only a half a chip. And all that dumbass shit you fuckers will say, regardless, you motherfuckers guarantee you're not even 40 years old. I guarantee you're not. Because we have seen, those of us that are older, have seen seasons be uh, uh, truncated, which means to, sh to, to uh, chop, and seen teams win championships. And you guys didn't even realize that shit. Case in point. Do you know one of Tim Duncan's uh, uh, championships that he won with the Spurs was in the was in the, uh, the, uh, the the NBA lockout season? Do you guys know that? But you, but I guarantee you, until I told you that, you didn't say, "Well, he's only got a half a ring because it was a lockout season." Nah, history is not gonna give a fuck about your funky ass opinions, okay? But I really didn't want him to play because I didn't want to hear all you guys crying, bitch. Okay, especially if LeBron wins. Oh man, blah blah blah, man. He now he's three and a half and six. All that dumb shit you guys say. But we know that there's been football lockouts. There's been baseball lockouts that have that's had World Serieses. Okay, this is business. It has nothing to do with anything. Okay, if they start the season, whoever wins the championship to me is the same because it's still a fucking season. Whether it's 82. Whether it's fucking 32 or whether it's 42, it doesn't matter, okay? So I just want to make that clear, but I didn't really want them to play because I didn't want to hear you guys cry and bitch. But now I want to see the shit, man, because my favorite Hennessy drinker at halftime, the guy who's known as J.R. Spliff, is back. Man, J.R. Smith is getting ready to side with the Los Angeles Lakers, man. And I'm telling you this shit right now, man. I'm going to watch it just because J.R. Smith is playing, man. J.R. Smith, man, is one of the most funniest and one of the most entertaining cats I have ever seen play basketball, man. And I don't mean on the court. I mean all the other shit. This cat, man, is must-see TV, man. Man, J.R. Smith, man, is going to make this shit fun for me, okay? Because if you guys didn't remember, all right, 
when they play the Cleveland Cavaliers game one against the Golden State Warriors in Oakland. They had a chance to steal a game. And J.R. Smith, man, in the final four seconds, forgot the score, man. They got they got a carom rebound. He got the rebound. All he had to do was just do a bunny, a bunny layup, a bunny tip in, and they would have won the first game. Now understand they still would have lost the series. But at least you would have had some momentum. J.R. Smith dribbled all the way out the half court, man. And LeBron was like, what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? And he's like, huh? Uh you talk about man we win it nah nigga look at the score oh oh damn man my bad my bad y'all my hey 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 my bad man <laughs> hey Ty Lue, my bad man my bad dog that shit was fucking incredibly funny to me man i was like oh man this guy right here he has to play so jr smith has not played in the nba since november 2018 what year is it? It's 2020, man. He has not played basketball in almost two years, man. Why? Because he's J.R. Smith, man. That doesn't mean he's not a good player because he is. Okay? Outside of the drinking Hennessy at halftime and the smoking weed and, 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 and forgetting to score the fucking game of the finals. That's crazy. You're in the NBA finals and you forget the fucking score. That's just crazy. But without that being said, Man, that's a great pickup for the Lakers, man. Uh, and I'm going to tell you why it's a great pick in a minute. But I'm making it crystal fucking clear. The NBA now is must-see TV because J.R. Smith is going to be on the Lakers. That means anything could fucking happen, man. I've seen J.R. Smith. Now, let, let, let's go back because a lot of you cats out there, you only know a player when they're in – uh, when they're in uh, higher and upper echelon games or on upper echelon teams and shit, okay? The real aficionados remember players before they gravitated towards the marquee teams. And I'm telling you, man, J.R. Smith, uh, when he was with the Nuggets and he was playing with Carmelo and, and playing with, with, with uh, 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 Kenyon Martin and all those motherfuckers, J.R. Smith, man, is entertaining, man. J.R. Smith, he 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 he's he's springy. The dude, the dude can jump out the gym. He's about 6'3, 6'4. Could jump out the gym. He gets hot as shit. When he gets hot, he hits everything. He's one of them streaky shooters that's like, do not let him get hot. He get hot, that's it's barbecue chicken. When he's hot, he shoots just about as, as good as anybody in the league who's not named KD, Steph Curry, or Klay Thompson. He's in that caliber. That dude can fucking shoot when he's hot, all right? And he can get hot in a hurry, all right? Not only that, man, he's a great defender, okay? Great on-ball defender, great weak side defender, great perimeter defender, okay? And I'm not just going to... Shit on him because he's J.R. Smith and the shit he's did. I'm, I like him as a player, but you gotta, you can't let him just go. You gotta pull his ass in. You gotta keep his ass in a circumference of a certain area and shit. Because if you don't, J.R. is gonna fuck it all up. Okay, like I like to say, J.R. J.R. Uh, uh, will, will he giveth and he will taketh awayeth <laughs> in a motherfucking minute. <laughs> okay. As Mike Tyson would have said. So I'm looking forward to J.R. Smith, man. I'm hyped up, man. And I'm telling you, being here in L.A., there's nothing really to be excited about, really. You know what I'm saying? It isn't like they're gonna be like Lakers are going to be playing here or the Clippers are going to be playing here. They're going to be at Disneyland or Disney World down in Orlando playing in a fucking plastic bubble and shit. But if J.R. Smith is on the court, Man, I'm definitely going to be watching the fucking Laker games. I may not watch all them other motherfucking games and shit, but I'm definitely going to watch the Lakers and watch J.R. Spliff. This shit is going to be great. I'm, I've am i been waiting to be excited. Okay? Football doesn't, it doesn't look good for football, you guys. It don't look good. Football's looking like it ain't going to happen. All right? It's just not. It's not looking good. Okay? So what do I got to be excited about? Baseball? Eh, Baseball doesn't get good to the playoffs, okay? I'm not going to sit there and watch watch that all the way up. Fuck that. 
But Jr. fucking drinking Hennessy at halftime, Smith, with, Je- with, Le- with LeBron again, with the potential of him fucking up again? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm in. I'm buying in. Okay? I can't wait to see this cat back on the court. Now, let's understand how this happened. All right? He's going to be replacing Avery Bradley. Okay? Avery Bradley is a is is a great defensive uh, two guard. He started like maybe like I think he started like thirty games or twenty games or something like that for the Lakers. Great on ball defender. His defensive prowess is up there with a lot of people. Okay, he can hit an outside shot, and he he's a ball pressure uh, uh, defender. All right, Avery Bradley's uh, uh, because with this new. Uh, bubble situation the nba is allowing players to opt out for whatever reason whether they're comfortable whether they're uh got got uh respiratory situations or any of those kind of thing and avery bradley's one of avery bradley's sons has has respiratory issues okay sorry about that i got a phone call so avery bradley is gonna is going to side on the fact that hey man i gotta make sure my son's protected Salute to Avery Bradley for possibly not getting an NBA championship because he's thinking about his son. Hey, man, I got a son now. I understand. That's a no-brainer, okay? You can you can always get another ring, but you can't always get another son. So he's opting out. Now, J.R. Smith has been hanging out here in L.A. J.R. Smith lives here in L.A., all right? And he's been here all during the pandemic, okay? So... J.R. Smith about a month ago, uh, when they had some, when they had the riots out here, when I, I, can't, I can't even call them riots. Uh, I don't even know what the fuck to call them. The fake riots. One of these guys smashed J.R. Smith's window on his on his truck, and it was on TMZ. Look this shit up. J.R. Smith beat the brakes off of this dude. Man, J.R. Smith beat this dude's ass for breaking the windows on his truck. I was like, that's J.R. motherfucking Smith, man. So he's been here in L.A. Last month, LeBron, Jr., and Anthony Davis were riding their bicycles down Sunset Boulevard on the corner of Sunset and Fairfax, which is like West Hollywood area. They were riding their bikes by themselves, riding down the street. I'm like, man, Jr. is around for a reason, okay? So I was like just waiting to see whether or not he was going to be able to get an opportunity to get back with the Lakers and shit, okay? Because he's hanging with LeBron James, and what you guys got to understand is we all know Jr. fucked up. We all know Jr. forgot to score. We all know Jr. likes to drink Hennessy at halftime. We all know he's known as Jr. Spliff, but that's one of LeBron's friends. Man, regardless of that, LeBron James takes care of his friends. He takes care of his boys. That's one thing I do like about the cat, man. The he is more loyal to his people than you are loyal to yours. So he just said, JR, let's kick it, hang out. We're going to see what we can do about getting you a job. And he's always getting his boys a fucking bag. Okay? That's the cool shit. If you had a friend like LeBron James, your motherfucking ass would have more money, more security, and you would be living a better life. But since you got shit on a cat like that, you probably got somebody that would do some nice shit for your friend. For your whole ass but then again you shit on people too much but with that being said so he just was chilling avery bradley's going out jr smith is going to take his slot now let's look at how that works like i said before avery bradley is is a great on ball defensive stopper at the, at the shooting guard position he's a good outside shooter but he's not jr smith man He's not J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith is a superior player, okay? He's a better three-point shooter. He is as good as a defender when he wants to be. That's the key with J.R. It's all about desire and all about whether or not his ass ain't fucking drunk or his ass ain't on some some other shit, allegedly. But when J.R.'s locked in, I'd rather have J.R. Smith. Now, another thing. J.R. Smith and LeBron James were teammates for three years, three seasons, okay? Three and a half seasons, I should say. They were on four NBA 
finals teams together. They have spent on the court. Think about this. LeBron James and J.R. Smith have logged over 8,000 hours on the court. 8K. All right, 8 Gs. 8,000 hours on the court. Them cats know each other, man. Them cats know each other. It's just going to be plug his ass in. It isn't going to even be hard to do. It's like, man, come in here and, and do what we've been doing. That's it. Anthony Davis doesn't. Anthony Davis is not going to have a problem because he's not going to interfere with what AD does. LeBron is going to be like he always does, ball dominant. He's going to be the guy that's going to control the ball. J.R. Smith, all he has to do is stand in the corner, wait to get a pop three, and guard the hell out of whoever a uh, uh, person that needs to be guarded from the guard position. Great pickup. Great pickup. But it's going to be entertaining because I want to see what the fuck JR is doing. I want to see where his head is. I've already seen him beat up people this year. I've already seen him riding bicycles down the fucking block and shit. I want to see what happens when LeBron and him get together. I love it. Absolutely love it. I can't wait to see it now. So now I'm excited. Okay? I'm going to be laughing my ass off. I'm going to make sure I got me a bottle of Hennessy. I'm going to make sure I got me one of them long ass cigars that you see on my page that's this long as shit. And I'm going to be watching those motherfuckers. And I'm definitely going to be waiting for some shit to happen. I'll be there. Ten. Nine. Hey, I'm going to be waiting for an explosion. I'm going to be waiting for JR to either ball or fall. It's going to be one of those, man. So I'm really excited. I finally got something to be happy about. But I'm not going to watch all those fucking games, man. Because some of them games ain't going to be good. Some of those teams are only there for tune-up. They're only there to be a tune-up team for, 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 for the eventual people that are going to be there. If it isn't the Clippers, if it isn't the Lakers, if it isn't the Bucks, and then I can't even think who else, who other the fuck it could be. Maybe the Sixers, maybe. Maybe the Celtics if Jason Tatum continues balling like he has. There's only a few teams that's worth watching, okay? Because there's not going to be any people in the stands and shit. They're going to be piping in fake noise and fake crowd noise and all that shit. I just want to see J.R. Smith. That's what I want to see, man. I would be rubbing my hands together saying, hey, man, what's JR getting ready to do with shit? So, like I said, I just want to come in, man, tell you I'm finally excited. I'm running around here in L.A., man. I'm about to go handle some business. I'm about to go to the cigar shop. I'm about to go to the post office. I got some mail that I got to mail out. You know what I'm saying? It's down here. I can't reach it. But I got some shit I got to fucking do. And I'm gonna read you guys his questions, man. But J.R. Smith is back in the league, man. And it's it's time. It's time to get excited. Cause we're gonna see some bullshit. We're gonna see some bullshit. I can't wait to see this cat, man. Oh my god. I can't wait. Okay. Make that shit clear. Ruboy Raider in the house. What's up, Ruboy Raider? Cheryl Moore Ellison in the house. What's going on? Good morning, young lady. Okay. Ruboy Raider said, Good to see you, bro. You got a handsome son. Thank you, man. I do got a handsome son, man, and I should stop be saying it, man. That kid looks bad. That kid, that kid look like he need to be on on, on a damn uh, fucking uh, take a pampers and some shit. That's a good looking ass kid, hey. But that don't mean shit, cause he still got to be well behaved. Fuck all of that. You could be cute all day. You still got to listen to Bobby and Daddy. I ain't playing that shit. Cute ain't gonna get him everywhere he gotta go. But as good he is. Kara, Sarah K. Scott, what's up, Sarah? You must be off work, Sarah. Because you a hard-working black woman. I know you you wouldn't be wasting your time on here if you had something better to do. Okay, Tony Dale in the house. Ruboy Raider. Johnny Montoya, Tony Dale. Rick Lavelle. What's up, Rick? Hey, Rick. Like I said before, man, I found out yesterday because I was... If you guys missed my thing about Cam Newton yesterday, go back and see that shit. But I was saying about Cam that uh, I knew we didn't play the Patriots and one of my boys told me we play him in preseason. I'm like, good. Because I like to be right. I knew we weren't playing them in regular season and shit. Okay. Mikey Sargent. What's up, Mikey Sargent? What's going on out there, Pippin? I hope everything's cool with you shit. Tabula Baldwin in the house. What's up, T? Rick Lavelle says, Spurs beat my Knicks in a lockout season. No excuses. Let's see what uh, team comes up in 2020. See, Rick Lavelle, you're a real one. You're a real one. 
Like I said, man, people, man, they want to pile on a motherfucker. Like, I, I hate when y'all try to pile on one guy and then you, you have like half facts and half bullshit. This has happened before. I don't want to hear if LeBron James wins, his title is worth the same as Tim Duncan's. You don't get to diminish his title and then don't get to diminish Tim Duncan's. Because like Rick LaBelle said, Tim Duncan, David Robinson, Steve Kerr, Popovich and all of them, Robert Ory, won a championship in the 1999 lockout season against the New York Knicks. I don't want to hear shit. Okay? I don't want to hear a damn thing. Brent Paladin in the house out there in Carlisle, uh, UK. Mikey Sargent said, J.R. Smith made Chris Webber time, I'll call a timeout, and Michigan looked like child's play. Like I said before, J.R. Smith is by far one of the most entertaining cats in the NBA because it's not just about what he's going to do as far as playing basketball. It's what's what he's thinking, man. That guy thinks unlike any other player I've ever seen, man. It can go for your, it can go in your favor, or it can go outside of your fucking favor, shit. And in regards to what Mikey Sarge is saying, when Chris Weber called that timeout against North Carolina and shit, and and they didn't have any more timeouts, Chris Weber was 19 years old. J.R. Smith is 32 years old. <laughs> J.R. Smith is a grown, 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 grown ass man. And don't forget, he's an NBA champion. Let's not forget, J.R. got one of these right here. Okay. Understand, J.R. got a chip. Don't forget, he's a champion. You might want to laugh at the nigga, but he definitely got some ring. Okay. Dwayne Williams in the house. Elder in the house, man. Salute to you, Elder, and congratulations, Elder. Uh, Mac Taz in the house. Kitty Smith in the house. Elder said, J.R. Smith and LBJ again. Yeah, that's what's funny about it. We don't know what's going to happen, man. We don't know. Man, they could be Game 7 NBA Finals 2020 uh, co coronavirus season. J.R. Smith has a chance to win the game. Uh, by just put uh, a little put back layup and he dribbles all the way out to the other side of the court and say we won and shit. I'll be crying. Oh, I'll be laughing, man. Dominic Shell in the house. Xavier Turner in the house. What's up, XT? Christy Hurt. You already know Christy. Raider Nation on ours and shit. What's going on? Felipe. Phil Corral. What's up, Raider Nation again? We, we don't give a fuck about nobody. Fuck all of that. Roberto Renega in the house. Roberto says Houston Rockles also. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. You know, the beard, James Harden shit. But here's the thing. When are you guys going to start holding James Harden's feet to the fucking fire the way you guys hold LeBron James' feet to the fire? That's the shit that I, I, I don't like. I don't have a problem with you criticizing LeBron, but you guys don't keep that same energy with other motherfuckers. You don't. You will let a cat who never win nothing and then have the audacity to talk shit about a motherfucker who did win at least three. But you guys ain't putting James Harden's feet to the fucking fire. When is his ass, his shoot every time he gets the ball ass, going to fucking win some shit? When is he going to get to the conference finals and shit? When is Russell Westbrook going to get to an uh, 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 opportunity to do some shit? Just be fair, man. That's all I ask. Just be fair, man. Just don't ride one motherfucker because you got a group of people you feel strong with. All 10 of us don't like them, so we all going to ride. And then and then somebody like me popping and say, well, what about this guy? Oh, uh, well, uh, see, you, you, you guys, man, you, you ain't the ones to be fucking with me. Okay? William Shaq, what's up, cuzzo? Roberto Renega said, team to watch also. Yes, sir. Frank Prado. Frank Prado said, another a royal dis playoff disaster. Yeah. Waiting to fucking happen. I can't wait, man. I can't wait to see it, man. I've seen J.R. Smith. Here's the thing about J.R. I've seen J.R. Smith hit some fucking dagger games, like dagger shots in games and shit. I've seen him fucking help to win some shit because that chip that they won uh, when they beat Golden State, when they came back down 3-1, J.R. was balling, okay? J.R. was playing on-ball defense on, on Clay and Steph. He was balling. I've seen him come through in the clutch, and I've seen him melt down like a motherfucker. Which one are we going to get? That's going to be the interesting thing, and that's why it's must-see TV and shit. Okay. Lynn Williams.
Dubs in the house. What's up, Lynn, out there in Vegas? Hey, Lynn, your Lakers bad. JR, I don't know how you feel about that shit. Leonard, Leonard Williams says JR could get you 15 off the bench easy. That dude is a scoring machine. If his head is on right, that's a guy that you have to constantly check his temperature and shit. And LeBron's the one for that. LeBron's the one. Do you, don't think that he's not going to be on the Lakers if they didn't go to LeBron James and shit. Okay? They went to Genie Bus and, uh, 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 what's the GM's name, man? Kobe's ex-manager. Damn, I can't think of the brother's name, man. He went to, uh, he went to Michigan, man. What's his name? I can't think of the name off the top of my head. But anyway, you know who the uh, Rob Palenka. Like I said, I'm a fucking genius. It just takes me a second. Open the file up. Lakers, da 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 GM, Rob Palenka. It's boom. That quick. That's why you watch me. Rob Palenka, don't think they didn't say, hey, LeBron, hey, man, it's, J it's JR, man. Oh, is JR all right, dog? Hey, man, I got that cat, man. I ain't tripping. But, well, man, you know he can get his shit. Jeannie's Jenny, a little concerned. We, it's, it's cool. It's cool. JR, you better be on point. If, I, if, if I'm co signing this loan for you, it's like anything else. Yo, when Cousin Pookie, because he is pretty much Cousin Pookie when it comes to playing basketball. If Cousin Pookie is getting his life together and your grandma says, hey, could you could you kind of, you know, look out for your Cousin Pookie and maybe get him a job in the mailroom and shit, you know. And you you better go talk to Pookie and be like, look, Pook, grandma's begging me to get you a fucking job and shit. Are you going to fuck it up? Because I don't need to be looking bad out here in these streets. Oh, yeah, cuz I'm good, cuz I'm I straight, man. You know, I, I got it this time, man. You know, man. I, 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 you know, I, I got it, man. I got an alarm clock now. Better make sure. <laughs> you better make sure, LeBron, that JR doesn't fuck up, man. Because if you blow a fucking championship here in LA, it ain't like blowing a championship in Miami. It ain't like blowing a championship in Cleveland. You blow a championship opportunity here in LA, that's it for you, bro. Okay. Michael Mathis in the house. Katrina Vance Whistle in the house. Brian Perry in the house. Al Mason in the motherfucking house. Okay. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty it's been pretty pretty short, pretty uh short and sweet with me lately. Okay. So I need for you guys to start sharing my motherfucking videos to people because Facebook doesn't look like they done fucking uh dial down my bandwidth to shit. I'm like, man, it doesn't make any sense. I'm not getting getting enough views for what I'm doing. I'm like, what the hell happened? I had 8,500 views on this. Now I got 300. It ain't me. <laughs> it damn sure ain't me. It's something going on. I need you guys to share my shit because I need to find out what the fuck's going on. I'm I'm working on my YouTube platform. Okay. I may have to move this shit. This shit is starting to get to the point where I have to move my shit to somewhere else because people are saying they're not getting it. People are saying that they're not getting uh, notified. There's all kinds of stupid shit going on. Okay. So I'm like, okay, I'm working on it. I got, matter of fact, I got my YouTube page up. I, I'm, I'm posting videos on there. But pretty soon, I'm going to tell you guys to go over there because this is bullshit. I'll come on here, talk to y'all, and then I'll give you extra content over there because this is starting to get on my nerves. Um, and that's pretty much it, you guys. I'm at the damn cigar shop and shit. Is this motherfucker open? You better be open. I got to go in here and get me some sticks. I got to go to the post office. I got to go run some errands. I got to go to the Nike store. And uh, that's what's going on with me. Oh, and I got to go buy some baby shit. You know, some stuff for the baby, you know. So, so love y'all out there, man. But I'm hyped up, man. <laughs> J.R. Smith is back in the NBA. Man, I'm definitely going to be watching the Laker games and shit. I don't know about all the other games. I got shit to do. I'm not trying to watch all of that. But I'm definitely going to watch the Lakers. And I'm definitely going to see if J.R. Smith fucks up that's what i'm waiting to see man i want i like the dude let, let me make let me make that clear i like jr smith man i he's either gonna give you 15 or he's gonna cost you a fucking championship man it's something i i gotta i gotta see man i gotta see that all right man love all y'all out there man <laughs> he's back i'm hyped up man if you can't tell i'm hyped salute